In this problem, we're actually given the confidence interval. So we're given these two values right here on the x-axis, and we're asked a few questions about them. The first one, what is the margin of error for the confidence interval? And margin of error is the distance between the middle and one of these. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the total difference here, this total distance, and cut it in half. And that'll give us the distance between the middle and the end. So we have our two numbers here. I'm gonna go over to Excel. So we have the low and the high, 67.1 and 87.7. So I'm gonna compute the middle well, go, yeah, middle. So let's average them together. So average, I clicked and dragged here. You could put a comma between B2 and B3. So that's the middle of these two. That middle is the sample statistic. Again, that's the point right here in between them. I averaged the two values together to get the middle. So that right there, I'll type in 77.4. May take a second just to make sure it looks reasonable that that's between these two numbers. Okay, now margin of error is half the distance between them. So let's go with the difference. And the difference, we're gonna go big minus small. So that's the total distance or difference between the two. I have to cut this in half. Half of the difference, that number over two. Of course, you could compute this all in one line. If I just did these two wrapped parentheses divided by two, uh, but I did it in two computations. There we go.